resuming in the back room. We got the one back room well, done, at least for what we're going to do today. Removing the trim, removing all the stuff from the walls, and uh, then removing the flooring. Now we're moving on to this room. Houston, we have a problem. We knew there was an active leak on this wall, but it's a, like, almost a miracle this wall is standing. Did you see what I found out? There was like paper towels in the wall. Here's another day, a summer to be analyzed. I know I will always be the center of your eyes. In the morning mist, the longing for you now is a fire. Day five, we forgot to wrap up uh, day four yesterday. Got carried away with uh, just having fun. We got uh, quite a bit done inside yesterday that we wanted to get done, which was most of the back room back here. Today we're moving out into this room. Uh, we're most likely gonna take the floor up and take the vanity and toilet out of the bathroom. Really start taking the paneling off this wall to see what kind of problem we have with that wall. We're really expecting, based on the fact that that beam right there was completely rotten, we pretty much expect this whole wall to be rotten. Um, we don't expect it to come past this corner here, um, which means we can keep this wall intact, but we'll pretty much have to take this wall out and rebuild that exterior wall uh, and we probably need to do that before the roof. So when they start tearing the roof off, they're probably gonna find all this plywood here, the decking is rotten. They're gonna wanna replace that decking. When they replace that decking, they're gonna wanna put <laughs> screws and nails to fasten it to this outer wall. If that outer wall is rotten, that'll be a problem. So we're going to uh, dig into that before they come and do the, uh, the roof to make sure that we can replace that wall so they'll have something to put the uh, new roof on to and this day five kind of wraps up the first week so we closed on tuesday we didn't really do much on monday and tuesday so we've got five days of effort into the home we'll end the first week here welcome to week two so week one was really just four or five ish days because we closed on tuesday but we're going to break it off on monday mornings and start our second week <clears throat> so to recap uh week one I don't remember everything we did, but a lot of it had to do with just some demolition here. Um, also upgrading the AC, we got that started. Uh, we got our tractors ordered so that we can dig in some trenches for some electric and some plumbing. We're gonna be doing pretty soon. We sold some of the stuff that was here and uh, basically just getting acclimated with the property that we purchased and it's kind of getting our arms around um, all the work that it's gonna require. Week two will be a continued demo. We still got all the flooring to take out. We'll start tearing down some walls. We got some cabinets to take out. We're gonna to try to resell some of these cabinets on top because they didn't have uh, much damage. Uh, the, the cabinets on the bottom had some water damage and stuff like that. So we'll still probably try to get this counter uh, and sell it along with the sink and the garbage disposal. Um, we also did some stuff outside. So we started taking down some trees. We cut a path out to the creek took the grandkids out there, things like that. So Chris has already taken off all the trim today. 
Uh, we're working on taking this bathroom out and week two did not start very well. So uh, it started with me calling the uh, electric company to turn our electric back on. The electric company came out and said that they had given us the wrong panel. So they provide the meter base panel. This is the meter base panel here coming in. It's an overhead, 200 amp overhead. Um, the problem, this one is considered a three phase and this is what they gave me. The electrician hooked it up but when the electric came, company came out here to turn it back on, they said, whoops, we gave you the wrong panel. So we had to drive out to Benton, to Camden. We had to drive back out to Camden, to their warehouse, and get the proper panel. We'll have the electrician come out and hook that up. And then the inspector will be set to come in a couple of days. So we've got a couple more days with that electric, thanks to that uh, mistake, which is going to cost a little bit of time and unfortunately a little bit of money. We're gonna continue taking all the flooring out. We'll dig into the walls, take the walls out on probably Thursday, Friday after the inspector comes if he gets here this week. Uh, and then the one thing that's a, a ma major concern that we're gonna break into here is this back wall here. The reason why is if all of this wood is rotted, we have an issue with the roof. So if there's no good wood along the top and all that's rotted out on that wall, that whole outside wall is gonna to have to be uh, replaced so that the roofer has something to anchor the roof to. Um, so that's, uh, that's the biggest issue at hand. Stick around, see what we'll do next. We love your comments and feedback. Please leave them below and enjoy the, uh, <laughs> the mistakes, madness, and fun that we have on week two.